Hey guys, what's up? It's Midsofting back with another Outriders World Slayer video. If you are in the middle of playing the endgame Trials of Tarya Guitar and you sometimes struggle to survive against the final boss, the Arbiter of Descent, then I have some tips that might help you. Uh, they might seem really simple, but I've seen some people asking how to survive it and what the easiest way to do uh, might be. So I have some tips for surviving. This video is meant for people who can't kill him in five seconds so if your damage is super op and you're all geared up already don't really worry about watching this uh and if you're using some kind of tank build that lets you just tank all of his damage then this doesn't really apply to you either uh this is the the strategy that i use playing as a technomancer where i'm essentially a glass cannon and i just do as much damage as possible and can't really survive that well so if that kind of fits your build and your description and you're dying really easily to him then uh these tips might be good for you First, if you're familiar with uh, the Souls franchise or other FromSoft games, you might know the rule of not getting greedy against bosses, which is what you need to do against this boss as well. Only shoot him when you have openings to shoot him. If you force shots while he's spamming his attacks on the floor, which basically means when the floor turns red, uh, you're probably going to end up getting killed. Uh, unfortunately, if you're low on health, if any of those... Uh, abilities hit you you're probably gonna get hit with more than one and pretty much die right away so concentrate on looking down at the ground where the markings are and avoiding them for as long as possible because that's what's going to get you killed uh, the same thing goes for the black goo that comes up out of the ground which might be the worst defender of all um, if the black goo gets you you're basically slowed down to the point that you can't move roll shoot even your bullets even coming out come out slower so Avoid the goo and avoid the red markings on the ground by looking down at the ground and making sure you see where they are and run around them constantly. Oh. Constantly moving is the best way I've found to do this. Uh, and if you stop and shoot, he's going to get you with one of them. So just don't do it until you get the opening. It's going to take you a little longer to kill it, but it will make sure you survive. It's going to take you even longer to kill it if you die and have to start over. So just make sure you survive. Take that extra time to get the shots in when you have an opening instead. Uh, trust me, it's worth avoiding it before you shoot, even if it takes more time. Uh, once you get higher level and a little better gear, you're going to start killing him really fast because your damage is better. So worry about that then for now. Just try to survive. Don't get greedy. Trust me, it's worth it. Uh, another tip I have is to use the other enemies, use the adds, uh, to get your health back. But don't worry about them otherwise. Uh, they're super easy to ignore. You don't really need to kill them ever. You can kind of just walk around them, run around them, and ignore them and dodge their if, their attacks if they oh, attack right. you. Uh, so like his clones and the other like little floaty guys that come out. You can pretty much just ignore them completely. But they're the best way to get your health back up if you have life on hit from weapon leech or skill leech. Uh, so like if you're running around avoiding his ability on the ground or like you're stuck in the goo like or whatever and you're you're going down on health It's a great opportunity to just look at the closest one of those enemies to you and just shoot it a couple times And make sure your health is regenerating while you're shooting him uh, and it'll help you survive I've done it a couple times I even use like fortress on my second weapon and I just swap to that while I'm dodging And then if I shoot one of those enemies I gain my health back and obviously I trigger fortress and I get you know a bunch of shields and stuff to generate so I can survive really easily and then once it all stops I just go right back to shooting the boss and getting as much damage in as possible uh, Really quickly, so that's a good way to get your health back And that's really the only reason I've seen for even shooting those ads. There's there's like no point in shooting them Just concentrate the boss otherwise um, That's pretty much it. So those are my tips for beating the final boss of the trials um, if you found this video helpful in any way, I would really, really, really appreciate it if you would give it a like and consider subscribing to my channel. I'm going to continue posting videos like this. Let me know if there's anything else you have questions about or any other tips you need. I'm working on my Technomancer build right now, which will be coming out soon. And uh, please check out my stream at twitch.tv slash I hope you have an absolutely fantastic day.